Hello everybody, Jamie here with Tree Puncher Support, doing a tutorial today on how to install bucket plugins that are not on our one-click install list. So if you're looking for something that your friend made or something else that is not on that list, then this is a tutorial for you. So basically, if you don't know what a plugin is, it extends the functionality of your server. I explain it in a little bit more detail in the uh, in the video before this video, which is called One Click Mod Installs. So if you're looking to see what a plugin is and how to install the basic plugins, go watch that video. This is a little bit more for advanced users. All right, so first step, you want to log into your game management panel. This is our testing account, which uh, uses the credentials noun and then a password. Uh, your credentials will have been emailed to you when you signed up for the service. So, once you log in, you'll be greeted by the dashboard which lists all the services you have open with Tree Puncher. And uh, we want Bucket because we're installing Bucket plugins. So go to the Bucket server and you're greeted by the edit server page. And uh, you might think you want to hit install mod, but that's for one-click mod installs. Here, we are looking for the file manager. And you're probably like, what do we do with this file manager? Well, first, before you do anything, you need to find the plugin that you want to use. And you might be like, where do we find plugins, Jamie? Where? Where oh where is there a singular source to find plugins for our server? It's so complicated. Boom! Plugins.bucket.org. Every plugin ever is in here. Well, I think every single plugin. There might be some like custom plugins that aren't in here. But 695 pages of plugins. Can you even believe it? Mind blown. So these are plugins for everything you might ever want. Uh, here is a plugin called B Superman RPG Guilds. That sounds awesome. Uh, Drop Blocker, uh, Challenger, Easy Stack. Let's go take a look at Easy Stack here. So Easy Stack says is a request URL that works with Vault. So it's just an extension for Vault, which is another plugin. Anyway, you can download these plugins for anything. I'm just going to use this one as an example. I'm going to download this guy right here. And it's like, this type of file can harm your computer. What should I do? Pretty much bucket dev is fine. Everything in there is going to be clean. So you want to say keep. And you're going to be like, it's a jar file. What do I do? Do I double click it? No, you don't double click it. You actually have to upload it to your server via FTP. If you watched our FTP video before this, you will have known everything about FTP and you are now an FTP. FTP expert, but I'll go through the basics of what you need to know now to upload the this uh, .jar file to your server. Uh, again, if you watched our old video on FTP, you'll know that your server is kind of like a hard drive in the sky, if you can believe it. Um, and you have full access to this hard drive. And one of the ways to gain access to this hard drive is through FTP or file transfer protocol. Uh, so we actually have a simple file transfer protocol right built in browser, but it's just not advanced enough uh, to do what we want. So we're going to use FileZilla. We love FileZilla here at Tree Puncher. It works it's platform agnostic and uh, it's just a great piece of software. So you want to download the FileZilla client, which is right here. It says FileZilla client, not server. Not server, you might be tempted because you're running a server, so why wouldn't you do server? No, wrong. You want download FileZilla client. So download that FileZilla client, and once you've gone through the installation steps, you will see this program. Boom, dragged from my other screen. Can you believe it? Anyway, this is what you'll see. It's a little bit confusing at the start, but I'm going to show you how to use this program. It's not very difficult. Basically, the left side of the program is your computer and then the right side is the server and then the top bar is where you enter in the details to access your server so you're like where do i get these details and uh, where you will find them is in the file manager tab which we were looking at before so we have an ip a port the user and the password is your game panel password which is actually the password you use to access the game panel not the string your game panel password like the actual one you use so uh, in the IP port you want to put your IP uh, in the host section you want to put your IP which is this the username you want to put in your username the password is the password you use to sign up and then the port is obviously 21 that not 5121 which is the standard port for all FTP connections boop 
and it'll say the password. It'll log it in for you. And there you go. You have a, we have a little list of directories. You will only see one folder here, maybe two, but basically the folder that you want will correspond to the port. So my port here says 25567 and that corresponds to the port up here, which says 25567. So this is the server I want. Double click that. And then this is your server. You can see that we have a whole bunch of stuff in here because I have been using the server forever. But the one that we are really interested in, the one that is the Mac daddy of, uh, of plugins for bucket servers is the plugins folder. So here we go. I have a ton of plugins on this thing. I've got AdCraft, Chat Manager, Essentials, Modify World, PEX, uh, plugin metrics, update stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of it. So this is how you delete plugins too. If you're wondering how to do that, all you have to do is go into the plugin folder and delete it. It's pretty freaking easy. It'll go through all the directories and delete that. So once this is done, we can upload our nice new, uh, what is it called? Easy stack. That's what it's called. It's right over here. Easy stack. Uh, we have to finish that. Okay, cool. So now there's nothing in this plugins folder. All I need to do is drag over easy stack. Boom! Easy stack is in. Just so you know, if you drag and drop from a finder window and it doesn't go into here, that means you didn't install the shell extension and all you need to do is just navigate on the left side of here to wherever the plugin is. There you go, dot jar, it's right there. All you'll need to do from this point on is restart your server and easy stack is installed on your server and you are now officially a mega pimp. Anyway you might come into a little bit of a problem here because not every single plugin is just a .jar file. Some plugins, like Essentials here, comes, come in a folder. So this is a .zip file and you might be tempted to be like, hey, let's just upload this entire .zip folder, but that would be wrong. What you need to do is unzip it. Here we go. You want to extract here. There we go. And now it gives me a whole bunch of jar files. And then, so you, what you want to do when you're upload, sorry, when you're uploading, uh, when you're uploading plugins, is go straight to the jar and upload the jar files. If it comes with a folder as well, so let's say there was a folder here that said essentials, uh, and then as well as a jar file, you'll upload both of those, both the folder and the jar file. Basically. You want to up if there's a folder in a jar, put in the folder in the jar. If there's two folders in a jar, put in the two folders in a jar. Basically, you just want to dump everything that's in that zip file into the plugins uh, plugins folder. There you go, updated, and now I have essentials. All I need to do is give this guy a restart, and I have officially installed plugins that are not in the one-click install list. And how good do you feel? Because I feel good. And uh, you guys have a fantastic day. But before I go, I always forget this. I will not be answering any questions in the YouTube comments below. It's not an effective way to do support, I found. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us at contact at treepuncher.com. Thank you. Have a great day.